and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm gonna go over what you should be expecting from the most feared promo, and a little bit of preparation. I will be making the entire prep video next week as we get close. I don't wanna make it now because things obviously won't apply as we get closer to the time. So I'll make that like a few days before when everything's announced. But for the time being, excuse me, I'm gonna be going over what you guys wanna expect. Kinda of like some most feared trends we've gotten in years past, and just really help you guys prepare for this most feared promo. Because so, I know a lot of you guys have been commenting that you haven't played Madden before. You don't really know what most fear is going to entail. So I saw a comment like that before. So I figured this is the perfect time to make this video. One this week, going over it. And then one next week to prep for it when it's about to be there. Guys, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. I'd greatly appreciate all that. We're so close to 10K subscribers. I want to hit 10K more than nothing right now. So make sure we get that done as soon as possible make sure to comment down below what you guys are expecting from most fear to give feedback to all the guys watching this video so you guys can all help each other and build on each other in the comments and you guys if you wanted this video or your lowest supporter you're new to the channel doesn't matter hit the like button boys get this video to 250 likes thank you guys for all the support against this video so first thing first with a brand new promo when you first when you first open most fear there's gonna be what to expect you're gonna come over to missions. You're gonna, there's gonna be an objective, right? Some whether or not it be trick or treat, spooky objectives, Halloween objectives. There's gonna be something. So last year there was like tokens. There was like little monsters, collectible cards. There was the um, the real monsters. There was a lot of a lot of different things. So we could expect maybe a currency, a new currency. If you guys have never played with currency before, pretty much look in the top right corner, and you see series two trophies of training, right? How it has like a little logo, and you have a, like a value next to it, like a thousand training. Pretty much a Madden currency just means you're going to have a brand new currency in the game that is only used during that promo. So for Halloween, it might be little pumpkins or little ghosts, and it'll be like ghost currency, pumpkin currency, candy corn currency, and it'll be used to open up Halloween type packs, Halloween type sets, like uh, or Halloween type rerolls, like monster players or Halloween players. It'll be used as a currency for maybe free players, but you guys understand how that all works, obviously, because if you guys have played last year... We had it for Christmas with the snowflakes, but if you haven't played yet, that's pretty much the bulk of what currency is. I feel like we will be getting a new currency. They pretty much made it a trend last year that with every new promo, we'd be getting new currency. So I could see it really being a factor uh, this year, this, this time around for the Halloween starting it off. So if there's a new currency, remember players are going to be valued very differently because right now players are usually valued by their rarity and their ability to sell for training. So like all 90 overalls go for a similar price range because of the training value. Now with if there's a pumpkin currency, depending on what we can use it for, it depends on the player's price. So if there's 90 overall guys you sell for pumpkins, let's say, um, if the pumpkins are crap and there's nothing you can use them on, they'll be very cheap cards. If the pumpkins are used to get like crazy uh, collectibles or secret pre presents for Halloween, let's just say, then the, pre the pumpkins will be really expensive, which means the players will be higher, which leads to really good investment com properties, which you guys know if you guys played last year for the Christmas promo, and guys sold for snowflakes. It was great, great, coins to be made during these type of promos but obviously when the time comes i'll go over all that if there is something such like that when the time comes obviously i don't know yet i have to wait for that so beyond the currencies there will be objectives such as like play five solo challenges get some pumpkins or play five solo challenge get a free uh, get a free 80 overall halloween card play this get some free halloween tokens so i imagine they'll be just like how these challenges are it's going to be a solo sequence and it's going to look just like this so let's say it'll look like mud heroes and at the top will be milestones it'll probably be like one so there's two ways they can go about the solo challenges last year was you had to upgrade guys and put them all into sets like you have to upgrade baby jared golfs which by the way that's another thing that most feared is infamous for doing they make really oddly sized guys they make guys like a three foot jerry golf who's like a midget or they make like an eight foot jimmy graham who's like a super godzilla head end so there's gonna be weird solo challenges probably like that where you have to play with height differentials like that or 99 speed midgets 10 speed giants it all depends on how they go about this but I can see the solos going multiple ways. Either there's tier 1 through 20 for the Halloween solos, and they're going to give us tokens, collectibles, to build cards, to use to get a free player. Or they'll keep it simple this year, and it'll be tier 2, 140 stars, one nat, most feared player pack, and there'll probably be a set, right? So last year, the set was like eight cards. It was like Derwin James, it was Jimmy Graham, Derrick Henry, Brian Arakpo, and a few others, and they all went into one set for I believe a Calvin Johnson Jr. wide receiver. So there's most likely gonna be a boss. Although this year they haven't really done many bosses yet. But again, that could just also be because the fact we haven't had a real promo yet that really deserve bosses. 
the seasonal promos usually always get a boss like thanksgiving always gets like a lawrence taylor last year we got calvin and then for christmas we got like bo jackson stuff like that there's always some type of boss so if there is a boss set last year the way they did it was you'd have like eight players and if you put them all into the set you could potentially get um the player set piece which is calvin johnson and all the set pieces you get by nat which they haven't done this year yet but i really do like when they do do that so hopefully they do something like that because it gives you an opportunity to get a lot of cards nat free and then just sell the set piece and only have to pay like 150 for like eight nat cards but if they don't do that they could just give you a free player from the set so if they have a set of eight players for a boss player then you could potentially get one of those for free i'm hoping so because typically that's the one thing they don't botch on seasonal promos always give us at least one free player so i'm hoping for that got one nice most feared player the only issue with most feared is that in the years past they've done like slow fast and they've done tall so like so well, i should say tall they did tall strong tall strong and fast so like the fast players were like the sean jackson's tyra kills let's say and the talls were like Larry Fitzgerald, Calvin Johnson. They've done cool sets like that. I don't really know what take they'll take on this. If you guys have played Madden ever before in the past, you know what I'm talking about. But they've done very cool things. And remember, guys, so one big thing of most feared is that come Halloween, as we get closer to this, typically they enrage the cards. It'll be on the back of the cards, the dates. When the cards are enraged, their stats, they become like superhuman. So a Deshaun Jackson card, when he was enraged, got like 97 speed and he became 8 feet tall. Or Jimmy Graham on Halloween that night, he becomes nine feet tall and he has a 99 catching or like they do cool things like that so something you could definitely expect is enrage cards as far as bundles if there is a currency you can expect the bundle involving currency if there is no currency you can expect the bundle to give you like toppers for set pieces for um a halloween card i don't know how they'll do this right so some years they do one big boss set eight pieces some solo challenges and we'll probably get house rules involved maybe get one free uh set player or one free boss depending on how many bosses they do depending but they'll definitely get house rules involved that's what they seem to be doing now get house rules involved with every new promo or they could do it like they've done in other years where they do it by uh by athleticism so like it'll be the tall set the strong set and the fast set so the tall would be like larry fitzgerald calvin johnson jimmy graham derrick henry and then the strong will be like donta hightower you know i don't really know the strongest guys larry allen's guys like that and then obviously the fast would be like tyree kills maybe Marquise Browns and guys like that so it all depends on how they really go about this but I could see most feared has so much potential this year there's so many new things we've had in Madden with abilities maybe they can add cool Halloween abilities that they didn't have in the game already um I'm really hoping for a good house rules that give us a free card maybe give us like a spooky little theme where there's like smoke in the background change up some graphics make some they can really make some cool out of this I hope they change the interface nice for most fear too and uh I mean I'm pretty sure Ray Lewis and Aaron Donald are confirmed at this point because if you guys look let's see if I can hit the middle button here the Madden 20 already has like the most feared theme. There's bats in the background, the moon, there's Ray Lewis in the front of it. So we're kind of expecting Ray Lewis already. So that could be the boss. Aaron Donald was one of the guys, but we just got a card for him. So I don't know if we'll be getting him anymore. And also, you can always expect guys in most of you, there's usually Tony Gonzalez's, there's Ray Lewis's, there's Calvin Johnson's. I think Tyra Kill could potentially get a most feared card this year. He's definitely one of the most feared cards when he's on the field. At any moment, he could strike and, you know, go all the way. Um, I don't know about Barry Sanders. I've never really seen him as a most feared guy, but I'll definitely be happy. He's usually a Thanksgiving guy. He's usually one of those like legendary Thanksgiving players for the Lions. So I'll be waiting for that. That's when I'm gonna get my big, big running back. That Barry Sanders card. That's always my favorite card of the year. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much wraps up most feared. You can probably expect one of these players: Calvin Johnson, Ray Lewis, Tony Gonzalez, uh, maybe Ezekiel Elliott because he has not gotten a card yet. Alvin Kamara already got his card. Um, like I said, that pretty much wraps it up. From a solo sequence aspect, I'm imagining we'll get at least one free player. From with house rules and solos, if they keep the trend, they'll give us one free house rule players, one free solo players. But it all depends, right? If they only give us one set for Halloween promo, like a big one, and there's only four players, they can't give us two because they'll give us half the set. So I don't really know how they'll do this. Maybe they won't even do a set. Maybe they'll just do a bunch of Halloween players like they do with Mud Heroes and they do all their own individual sets. I don't know how they'll go about this. I'm hoping they go about it in the ladder where they end up going with the 10 card sets where if you put them all in you get them back nat i love that because i get a lot of free players on my team and i just have to sell the boss back and you you end up spending like 200k for like eight cards which is always awesome i hope they go that route but guys most feared at this point is uh it is october 12th i imagine most feared at the latest will start what's today saturday i believe probably like this thursday night they'll probably have a special stream going over potentially the um most feared promo i'm hoping so and that'll leave us with probably release date. I think at the earliest, it'll release the 17th or the 18th. And at the latest, it'll probably release sometime around the 20th. But not much later than that because it's got to be 
you usually have like a week and a half out before Halloween actually starts. But guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell to stay tuned for all the new things that I'm posting on this channel and stay up to date with all the content. Comment down below what you guys think you want to, or what you want to see from most of and what you expect. And if you have any questions about anything I said, comment down below or hit me up on Twitter. The link will be down below in the description. And guys, that's about it. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 250 likes. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.